In this video, I want to talk about the simplest way you can interact with a user of your application. And that is something that almost every beginner uh, in C actually knows so far. And that is the printf function. Now, of course, you know how to use printf. It's fairly straightforward. If you try to define, for example, a variable here that says a equals, I don't know, 255, for example. And if we try to print this, you would say what? You say inside uh, inside quotes, you would say percent %d, and then let's say a backslash n, just for formatting reasons, and then just add the variable at the end here. And if we, if we try to run this, you'll notice that we get 255. And that's correct. Simple enough. Same thing goes for floats. I'm sure you know how to use uh, printf to print floats here. So if I say 255 point, or 2.55, let's say, and if I try to print it, I'm just gonna say percent %f instead of percent %d. And if I look at it, it's going to look fine. It's 2.55 and then four leading zeros, that's fine. Okay, but now what if you want to print some other data types, right? Um, one, one common mistake I see is when printing unsigned integers, right? So when printing unsigned integers, for example, if I have here an unsigned int a equals 255, well, you're not just going to use percent %d, you should actually use percent %u, and that stands for unsigned, right? And if I try to run this, it's the same result, it's just that it's going to uh, consider that value as being unsigned, right? Now another thing, how do you print a 64-bit integer on the screen. So if I have here a long long a equals let's say still 255, how do you print that? Well that's actually very simple. You prefix that with the base type or with the kind of smaller size type which in this case would be an int, right? So you have percent %d and you add two l's in the beginning from long long. So it just stands for long long integral, right? And if I try to run this, it's going to use it as it should, right? 255. Same thing goes with unsigned 64 bit integral. So if I try to type in here unsigned, unsigned long long, instead of saying lld, you say llu, right? Now here's the most useful part. If you try to print out the size of a variable, you should always use the percent %llu. So if I say here percent %llu and then just say size of a, we get 8 and that's correct. And why do I say that? Because size of returns a size underscore t type and that is a 64-bit unsigned integral. It's a type therefore basically unsigned long long. Right, so that's why you should use LLU whenever printing uh, this type of values. Another thing now regarding floating types. What if you want to print this A, right, but without the leading zeros? Well, you can actually do that. You can actually say simple, a simple dot two before the F here, and that says, all right, after the dot, so after the dot, print only two digits of the number. Right? And if I try to run this, you'll notice that we only get 2.55, and that's really nice. Another thing when it comes to whole integer types, if we try to run this, you'll notice that these guys are not really aligned, right? We have 255 and 15,000, but we would like to align them to the right. So how can we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We can actually set a padding, a left padding of spaces to the format specifier. So you can say percent, let's say in this case, 8D, and then do the same thing for the other one. And now if we try to run this, you'll notice that both are right aligned, and they also have a few spaces to the left, right? Uh, as long as the number is at most eight digits long, it's going to always right align. You can actually specify even more digits in this case. Another weird thing that you can do is also uh, specify 0, 0,8 in here and 0, 0,8 in here and that's going to add z zeros instead of uh, left spaces which is kind of weird but sure you can do that in some cases if you need to. 
if you want to print in hexadecimal it's actually pretty simple instead of saying percent d just say percent x and run this and you'll notice that we get ff and that's 255 in uh, hexadecimal if you try to say capital x then we're going to get ff capitals so the letters are going to be capital everywhere you can also say hashtag x and that's going to add our zero x prefix to all our uh, numbers and one last thing that many people don't know about is when printing pointers if you want to print actual addresses you can simply use the percent p here and let's say the address of a and that's just going to print the address on whatever specifier is going to give us and it's going to left pad with zeros and that's really nice to see okay well this is another this is another what's what's the issue here right one more thing to know before you go is that these specifiers only tell printf to interpret them in a certain way so if i say here for example let's say i don't know 70 right and instead of printing percent p i say percent c and the value of a if I try to run this, you'll notice that we get capital F. And that is because the ASCII value of capital F is actually 70. And as you notice, even though this is an int, we actually print printed out a character. So keep that in mind next time you're using printf. And that's about it for this video. I hope this helped you understand how to use printf in a more useful manner. And I'm sure this is going to help you not only just print to the console and also, but also print on uh, files that you want to format in a certain way. All right, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.